together. This is Mathematics Alive. And our lesson is Mathematical Transformations. Let us first deal with the concept of symmetry. Definition. A figure has symmetry with respect to a given line if the figure on one side of the line is a mirror image of the other. The line of symmetry divides the figure into two congruent parts, which means these parts have the same shape and the same size. Let's look at the examples here. We have here the lines of symmetry. Um, these are the broken lines. And then if you look at the figure uh, on the left side, it is a reflection of the figure on the right side because they are symmetrical with respect to the vertical line here. So it has vertical symmetry. And the other figures also have vertical symmetry. If you look at this uh, Christmas tree, half of the Christmas tree, um, we have the left side of the Christmas tree being reflected on the right side. So we have the whole figure here, which is uh, produced by the reflection of the left side. And the line of symmetry is this vertical line. There are many kinds of lines of symmetry. You can have vertical, horizontal, and you can have also um, diagonal lines of symmetry. So for these examples, we have here um, both vertical and diagonal lines of symmetry. And uh, it divides the figure into six parts, six equal angles, and each of these angles will be um, 60 degrees. And we can say that this figure has rotational symmetry. Um, the other two figures also have rotational symmetry. The figures below have um, vertical lines of symmetry. So we have vertical symmetry and these other examples on the, the right side, we have um, the second example here. It has both the vertical symmetry and horizontal symmetry. And um, this third example, it has rotational symmetry because it has vertical and it has also um, diagonal uh, lines of symmetry. This, this one has rotational symmetry. This one has both horizontal and vertical symmetry. And the last two have um, rotational symmetry. Symmetry within a figure. Draw the lines of symmetry where each figure below can be folded. So I have here the letters of the English alphabet. Um, some figures may have more than one line of symmetry and you can identify whether the figure has horizontal symmetry, vertical symmetry, or rotational symmetry, or there is no symmetry at all. Let's just try a few of these letters. So letter A, it's obvious that it has a vertical line of symmetry. Letter D has horizontal line of symmetry. And uh, letter H has both horizontal and vertical line symmetry. But letter G does not have any line of symmetry. Four types of rigid transformation. A geometric transformation is either rigid or non-rigid. Another word for rigid transformation is isometry. An isometry is a transformation which does not change the size or shape of the figure, but there is a movement about the plane. Examples, rotation, 
translation, reflection, and glide reflection. So let's start with horizontal or vertical reflection. In the figure on the left, we have the pre-image or the original image. And then we have the line of symmetry here. And then if we fold uh, this um, imaginary piece of paper, uh, there will be another image that will be produced, which is a reflection of the pre-image. And the distance of every corresponding points like A, and A prime, that their distance from the line of symmetry, their distances are equal. So uh, this is an exact reflection of uh, the other image. Um, the figure on the middle is um, another reflection, vertical uh, reflection. And then the figure on the right as horizontal uh, line of symmetry and the figure on top is reflected to the figure at the bottom. Translation. Translation is a movement done by sliding a figure from one point to another about a plane. It is also called a glide. So you just push one image and slide it to whatever direction. It could be downward, it could be upward, it could be sideward, as long as um, it's just a slide or a glide. And we call that a translation. Um, the figure here on the right is a translation which was done horizontally. And if you notice the movement of the corresponding points, the movement of A to A prime, the movement of B to B prime, and the movement of C to C prime, they have all the same distances. Six units uh, was the movement. In these buildings, you can see the translations. Uh, the translation that happened now, uh, where uh, the figure on the second floor, the third floor, the fourth floor, fifth, sixth, seventh, are just translations of the figure on the first floor. Rotation. A rotation is a transformation that turns a figure about a fixed point called the center of rotation. So if you look at this, uh, this figure of a man, the figure of a man is rotated and the center point of rotation is the belly button. And the angle of rotation, if we try to measure the angle uh, which uh, was moved by the figure, uh, it will approximate 120 degrees. For the second figure, on the right, we have um, this blue figure was um, moved or rotated in a clockwise manner. And um, the angle of rotation is 90 degrees. And there are several movements, clockwise manner. And you can also move the figure in a counterclockwise manner. Um, the angle of rotation is still 90 degrees. <coughs> Glide reflection. A combination of a translation and a reflection is also called glide reflection symmetry. If you look at this illustration, we have the uh, footprints um, move forward. So that's a translation. And then it was reflected downward. So reflection. And then the reflection was moved forward again. So another translation. And then moved 
upward again. So that completes the figure. In the figure on the right, we have um, the triangle ABC was first reflected and then translated. Uh, here are some examples of uh, figures with glide reflection symmetry. So you can either um, translate or reflect first. So in this figure, uh, reflection happened and then translation. In this figure, we have translation first and then reflection. And you can see that this is the transformation that happened in the examples below. Freeze patterns. An infinite strip with a repeating pattern is called a freeze pattern or sometimes a border pattern. All freeze patterns have translation symmetry. A horizontal freeze pattern looks the same when slid to the left or to the right. So look at the uh, freeze pattern here. If we move this forward, um, the figure is translated and, and translated again. And then you connect all these uh, figures, then you have a freeze pattern or a border. Let's identify the transformation present in these freeze patterns. So in the first pattern, we have, um, we can possibly um, trace a line of symmetry here. So there is a reflection here. Or we can take this as a whole figure and then translate it to the next uh, step. So it is translation and reflection. The second example, we have um, both translation because this figure was translated to this and another translation happened. Or we can also um, say that uh, this figure was reflected. So this is the line of symmetry and there is a reflection that happened uh, from here to here, um, from here to here, and from here to the last figure. And in the last example, we have uh, translation, and but this figure is reflected downward, so there is translation and reflection. Freeze patterns in ethnic costumes. If we observe the beautiful patterns in this Tivoli uh, costumes, um, they are freeze patterns and they have those symmetries that we have just discussed. And look at this Tinalak fabric. They are freeze patterns and they were produced by translation symmetry, and there is also reflection symmetry. And um, can you identify the transformations present in this Tinalak fabric? Look at that. Translation, reflection, um, but I think there is no rotation. Identify the transformations used in these Tivoli blouses. The most common uh, transformation being used is translation and reflection. Now let's observe the nature around us. What are the mathematical transformations that we can trace in nature? In the first figure, or picture, we have translation because the clouds are uh, seemingly translated. And then there is a reflection also. The tree was reflected in the water below. 
And then the second figure or picture, we have reflection. And the third picture, we have rotation. Rotational symmetry in nature. Look at these objects. And they show rotational symmetry. Mathematical transformations are all around us. We simply have to open our eyes to the beauty of mathematics in how our creator designed our environment. For my next video, we have mathematical patterns. Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel by clicking the button below. Thanks for watching.